guys, it's Sax Productions 101 here with my next deck reveal and review. This is a review for the B Acorn Back Green Deck in Ivory Finish. Now, let's get into the actual deck of cards here, my thoughts, my feelings, my ratings, etc. So, if you look off the bat, it does essentially look like a normal deck of cards, except for the fact that it's green. The normal B decks would be red or blue, not exactly green. The main difference between this B deck and just a regular red or blue one is that it says Erdnace down here, and these cards are in honor of SW Erdnace. On the side here it says Acorn Bat Club Special, and on the other side it says Made in the USA. On the bottom you have your little clip about who it was designed by, and who produced it, and who it was for basically. Then on the back here, you have the Acorn Back Extra Selected for Club Special. And then you have a glip of what the actual back of the cards are going to look like. The seal is black, and on the top it says Poker. So let's get on into the actual deck of cards here. So if you take a look at the back design, we'll get into that just a little bit more later. But I actually want to show you, we have... Um, an expert at the card table card with just a little clip about um, SW Ernace. Um, and then we basically have the two jokers right here. And on these cards is SW Ernace himself doing some magic at a table, hence expert at the card table. And if you can look close enough, the cards on the table right there are different on each joker if you look right there and then we have a, another promo card ask alexander which i have absolutely no idea what that is for and if you do know comment down below and please tell me so let's take a look at the ace spades again this is the classic b ace of spades you have the beehive inside the spade itself with the flowers, the bee logo, the banner, 92. Now let's check out the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. Now what I really like about this deck is that the faces of the cards are enlarged, which means they're, they're much bigger than they normally would be, and the actual pips on the sides are a lot smaller than on the on regular bicycle cards, etc. And the faces on each of the court cards are very unique to each court card. They're very different faces depending on what it's trying to portray in the person. So let's get into the back design. This back design is very interesting and very well made and thought out. So from here, it just looks like there's basically like little squiggly lines throughout a mirrored image across here. Then you have an SWE, SWE, 1902, 1902, right there. But if you take a little bit of a closer look, you can actually see that those are hands performing different motions with a deck of cards all over the back of the actual card and I think that's a very nice touch and perfect for this deck of cards. Now as I mentioned before this deck is an ivory finished deck it's not the cambric finish that comes on regular B cards. It is different and it's more of a smooth feeling like the Aladdin's. This is one of my favorite decks that I actually own. The usage of this deck is so amazing that I can't describe it. The ivory finish meshes so well with this actual deck. It's just amazing, and I love this deck. So the overall deck of cards, I would have to give a 5 out of 5 because of what it stands for, who it was created for, and all the things that went into this deck to make it awesome. Now the thickness of the cards and the secure feeling. These cards are the normal size, they don't feel thin, they don't feel too thick, but you can also feel that smooth finish. And if you did notice that there's no ribbing or anything on the cards that you can visibly tell, it's just very smooth. 
and that's what's very interesting about this deck. So the thickness and secure feeling of these cards, I would have to give a 4.5 out of 5. Now the overall look of this deck, I think this deck looks fantastic and is awesome for what it stands for. This deck is very nice and B has actually made an expert at the card table deck which I do have a review for if you would like to click right here for that review. So the overall look of this deck I would have to give a 4.7 out of 5. Now the handling and feel of the cards. These cards feel awesome. The ivory finish works so well. The ivory finish doesn't fan as well as other finishes do such as the cambric finish but they handle amazing and they're good for anything magic wise to flourishing wise. I would totally recommend this deck to anyone who wants to get it. So the handling and feel of these cards I would give a 4 out of 5. So thank you guys for watching and if you'd like to pick up yourself a deck of these cards please go to that link in the down bar right there and get yourself a pack. So thank you guys so much for watching and comment, rate, and subscribe.